Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites, the best place online for you to get your shark fix. We've got another Sharks in the News episode for you today and alongside it I'm going to be discussing some of the ethics behind keeping sharks in aquariums. However, before we jump into today's episode, make sure you check out our last episode here where I look at some of the shark science behind the film The Meg. Today, however, we're looking at some news that came out a couple of weeks ago about Trixie the whale shark, who has sadly died at Georgia Aquarium. The news itself came directly from the Georgia Aquarium Facebook page, in which they expressed their sadness at what had happened, explaining that Trixie was having difficulties navigating her habitat, and eventually her health rapidly declined, leading to her death. Trixie had been at Georgia Aquarium since 2006 and was the largest whale shark present at the aquarium. There's no information online as to how old she was, but she'd been at the aquarium for 15 years, so I'd say it's a strong possibility she was over 30 years old. Georgia Aquarium did also lose two of their whale sharks in quick succession back in 2007, and it was thought to be due to a loss of appetite because of an anti-parasite drug that was being administered to the sharks. So this brings us on to the age-old debate, and it's a debate that has raged on for many years, and it's that should large marine species like this be kept in aquariums? Now, there are always two sides to every debate, and in this debate, arguments on either side seem to be incredibly polarised. Being a scientist myself, I try and have as balanced a view on this as possible, and I will give you my thoughts nonetheless. Generally speaking, fish, and that includes sharks, tend to do a little bit better in aquariums when compared to marine mammals such as seals and dolphins. This is likely because marine mammals, for example killer whales, have somewhat of a more complex brain than fish, meaning they have highly complex social structures within their populations. Now, this doesn't mean fish and therefore sharks are stupid, it just means their brains are designed differently to suit how they live their lives. There are, of course, exceptions to the sharks in aquariums rule. Great white sharks, for example, notoriously do not do well in aquarium settings, with the longest survival record being just shy of 200 days for an individual at Monterey Bay Aquarium. On balance, though, there are many shark species that do just fine in aquariums. Activists would argue, however, that a species such as a whale shark, which can grow to over 14 meters in length, does not belong in a tank. Looking at natural whale shark biology, we do know these species can travel huge distances across open oceans, and it's thought that they can live to up to 130 years old. However, the average is probably somewhere between 70 and 100. Life in a tank for these species obviously means that they won't be traveling these large distances and are probably not reaching the ages that they can do in the wild. Looking at this from the aquarium's point of view, however, they would argue that the benefit that these sharks have had on education and outreach is vast. Since Georgia Aquarium opened, over 10 million people have had the opportunity to see these animals up close, and that's likely spurred on many young minds into becoming marine biologists or shark advocates. These sharks in particular also would have had somewhat more of a grim fate had they not been taken to the aquarium. The sharks are from Taiwan's commercial fishery, which until 2008 had an annual quota to catch these sharks for consumption. So others may argue that the lives of these sharks would have been considerably different had they not been placed in captivity. It's a difficult one for me, and I'd say I probably lean more towards the side of not keeping whale sharks in aquariums. However, I can appreciate the role that they play in enabling access to a species that most may never have the opportunity to see. So what are your thoughts on these whale sharks? Do you think they should be kept in captivity at Georgia Aquarium? I wanna know what you think in the comments below. And with that being said, that brings us to the end of our first season here on Shark Bites. I've had so much fun creating these videos for you and broadcasting the weird and wonderful world of sharks to your screens. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the Shark Bites channel already. It really, really means a lot to me and it's great to see so many of you tuning in every week for these episodes. Have no fear though, the channel will be back again in the new year, bigger and better than ever. So please continue to pass on these videos to anyone who you think might enjoy them. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday period and a very happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you all again back in January for some more Crazy Shark content. For the time being though, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, 
See you next time.